Hi guys, it's Clint and Shell. Hi. Uh, today's a CINTF day. If you don't know what that means, it's crap I need to finish because UFO never made sense to me. So <laughs> I came up with crap I need to finish. Uh, Artie was here, that's why I turned the camera on. Uh, these are quilt squares I had done years ago. Uh, I was going to make a full size quilt. Just never got around to it. They're not perfect. And I um, decided I'm going to use them for my rocker and make a just a, kind of a throw rug or throw quilt for the rocker. And it's out, like out in, of, in the shape of in the shape. I have the piece of paper somewhere. Here it is. So uh, this is the seat. It's going to hang up uh, underneath the arms, and then it's going to hang down on the front of it. And uh, it's uh, three, and then four, and then three again, and then it's three all the way down. And I figured there was from this three, all this is, there's 24 squares is what I have. That should take it all the way down to uh, where the upholstery goes underneath. Uh, eventually, I would like to have it upholstered. But I just don't, I'm uh, not too worried about it. But I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I meant to tell Shell about, I, we've talked about it, and I'm going to use batting. But also, I just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sticky crap, and I am going to stick, stick all this to sticky crap. And then that way, um, I'll put batting underneath it, but right now I just got to, these weren't the right size. I hadn't trimmed these down, and the right size was eight. Eight and a half is what I was making them, and I just, um, I thought they were all cut down, and when I started gluing all these together, I found out there was probably about, I don't know, eight or ten of them that were weren't the correct size so I thought well I'll go ahead cut them down real quick and then Artie came up so Shell said you ought to start recording so you guys can see Artie but he was passing through and he's gone don't know where he went to he's probably no I thought maybe he's in front of the door but he wasn't yeah he was Come to visit he just woke up it's strange you know we woke up i think at three this morning and he was awake he he woke up but he goes back to sleep and then he wakes up again about eight eight thirty around there and it's um he's actually up a little early today it's only seven thirty right now oh it's eight thirty so he woke up about the normal time it's so funny how he does that, but that's his schedule, and, but he's... We're talking about a cat. Yeah. I figure most of them would know, and probably <laughs> some of them don't. Artie is my baby boy. He is the one that got out that I almost had a nervous breakdown about when he got out because I was so stressed about and it. I had to climb underneath the... Yeah, we... Yeah, it wasn't, a, and, yeah. wasn't a fun event. Sorry, I'm not feeling very good, so Clint took over. Yeah, she's still feeling not great. Uh, I worked yesterday, not doing very good either. I had a rough day. I ended up having a long job, and I did this long job, I think, over a month ago, or right out a month ago. And it was, a th it come out to just under a mile. Luckily, it was, it was on a bike path, but it's still really took a toll on my body. I ended up walking almost 10,000 steps yesterday and I didn't think I really did that much to, to walk that many steps. But, uh, and I'm still driving the red car and the, if the red car is a Ford Focus and that is a miserable car to drive. I, it makes me hurt so bad. I don't know why. Um, and it's an automatic, but it's not really the uh, the transmission's been slipping really bad, and it's kind of stressful to drive, but, 
working on my forerunner, which my forerunner is a stick, and it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I would have thought I would hurt so much worse driving a stick, but I don't. It actually is quite a bit more comfortable than the red car is. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Luna. Oh, yeah. Uh, kind of had a little bit. It's not horrible news, kind of bad news maybe disappointing news uh went out when i got home and watered the babies you know our baby dutch bannies and we had three roosters now we have four <laughs> apparently our little girl luna has decided to change teams <laughs> just cha I change it she had it before yeah like well she didn't have the comb before that is so weird why uh, they all have comb oh i, I hope not uh, so far that's all. That them is only the fourth. So now we need to change her name to his name. I don't know what that would be, but we'll figure that out. Luna be a boy? Uh, I don't know. Luna sounds like a girl to me, but I guess it could be a boy. But So I was shocked. I mean, I knew she had a, a little bit taller of a comb, but I didn't really think it was a boy. So, yeah, so well, Luna's a boy. Because if we get rid of the other roosters, well, yeah, uh, I might look into debarbing the roosters. I'm wondering if that would help. Um, uh, they would still be able to fight, but if they don't have their uh, barb, I wonder if uh, they wouldn't be able to, wouldn't hurt each other as much, so maybe it wouldn't be so, um, I mean, they do it, you can... I just have never done that before, but it's something to think about. We'll have to look into it. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, how we're going to get rid of all the boys, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. We don't want any uh, fighting, and we really would like to have the other girls, all the bannies together. So, that's kind of what we're... Yeah, I heard it's really easy to do. She's looking it up right now. Because um, I, you know. You know don't go for them, so I yeah, if they don't, if they can't hurt each other, then it wouldn't be a big deal. But if you, uh, they can fight to the death. And it's usually not just one. A lot of times, b the, the, both roosters will die. And I'm, I would imagine it's from exhaustion, but I don't know. So, um, we'll find out. And, but, you know, it was just kind of a bummer when I went out and saw her. I guess I never noticed it before. I have to work on the clean out where the, band, full side, the older bounties are and get them moved out there and get a pin built for them. We bought some fencing, chicken wire, to make a, a small little run for them so they can be out there. But I really, they're getting so big, we're just going to do a update on them. I'm probably going to try to start shoveling out the banny pen right this weekend I have to work Monday for a short job um, so far I don't have to work Tuesday hopefully nothing else comes in but we'll see but I had a pretty good day yesterday like you know shelf felt horrible so she didn't go with, go with me sorry there wasn't no video I felt so crappy that I was able to do the one, and that was about all I had in me. I was going to try to do one after my nap, but it just, I was exhausted, and I took more than one nap, which I don't usually do that, so whenever I do that, I'm usually pretty exhausted, so sorry about not having a video. But not a lot gone on. Pretty hot here. Uh, it was pretty nice yesterday. I um, when I did the job, I left early. I left I think at six. 
just before 6.30, I think, to, to head over to Durango. And the job was irritating. I had done that job a month ago, and then they didn't do the work. So I called them up and said, well, how far you guys gotten? How far do I need to locate? And he says, well, I, it says on the ticket how far to locate. I said, no, how far have you guys got done? They, oh, we haven't even started that. And then to find out, they're somewhere else in Colorado, I think. So when I don't even know when they're going to get to it. I guess we'll see, but... So it looks like, oh, okay, them are two are, so we'll see, I hope I don't have to mark that stupid job again, it really, it really sucked, that's all there was to it. So I just been, huh, um, that's, yeah, that's right, so I've been doing this pattern, I'm not worried about the seams, I don't know if I said that or not, like I said, it's just for my rocker, and wasn't too worried about being super precise I just wanted to just have something that would wear well that's why I thought well I use the interfacing the bowl material you know we had that really thin crap that really sucks and you really can't use it for anything so and also I have that really that sticky crap I can't stand so I figured I'll use it along with the interfacing that sucks so that way I kind of get rid of some of that crap and I don't need it so that was my plan we'll see I'm hoping I really hate that I mean that bow material is really worthless when it's that thin especially for our books our journals and stuff there's no sense in you know you have to the, the smallest you have to quadruple it triple or quadruple it to even be remotely close to what we normally would use for our soft covers so but other than that it hasn't been too bad probably I don't even know to be honest guys I don't even know how many I got glued I did glue several of them why I was um, off camera that way you guys didn't have to watch me glue a whole bunch but we were hoping at least some of the cats would come up and say hi but they're, most of them are the little girl and the little boy are sound asleep my part is asleep pretty much everyone is I think except for Art Mr. Arctic uh, there are X's on these that's what I I used a erasable pencil, so a quilting pencil, but I um, don't really, I'm going to end up washing them, um, I was, because this one's white, so I know it was erasable pencil, because it was white, and I didn't have any uh, regular lead that was white, I only had black lead, so. And I know that was a Fonz and Porter pencil, actually. I don't care for it that much. Um, I mean, it's okay, but I really like the Raceville pens better. But we just got those last year, or the year before, because we didn't go to the quilt store yes, last year with all that. So I don't know how, if my, well, I would still need more of these. Hopefully I have enough of this one I do have more fabric and I may end up making some squares we'll see if I have to it doesn't like I said it really doesn't matter oh I tell you so I so I'm gonna go ahead and do them all that way I know how many That I know I'm not too worried about exactly how I don't know if we ever told you you know we used to go up to the mountains all the time we really don't much anymore which is a bummer because that's really my peaceful place and it's kind of the way I can get away from life and work and but I don't know if you guys know what grouse are we have 
several type, at least a couple types of grouse here. Well, we were coming up from crossing the mountain from Dutton, and it's a mountain road the whole way. And we got up there, and there was a mama grouse and her babies. That and I, fun. that was so much fun. I think she had five babies, something like that. And they were in the road. Oh, they were just adorable. It was a sight to see. It really was. Then there was a marmot that, uh, there's this old barn, old, old barn back from the 1800s. It's actually a log barn, like a log cabin, but it was a barn. And you drive by, whenever you drove by, that marmot would always sit on the very top of that building. It never failed. And I said, it's still there. It still just watches the world go by. It's so neat that they do that, you know. But we've seen quite a few of the marmots. And, um, don't see a lot of squirrels up where we go hunt mushrooms. We haven't been up this year yet. We probably start going once I get my forerunner back. Just to run up every now and then and see what's going on. That's where we get a lot of our wood too. So we'll see. I hope so. It is. Tell them we found more baby. Um, oh, geese. geese oh. Yeah, uh, in our in Cortez, you know, we have a pond in Cortez. Actually, I think there's two. There's two. And uh, there was a baby goslings. It was so cute. And they were they weren't crossing the road. They do have a a goose crossing right there. How they train them goose to cross right in that crosswalk. <laughs> I do not know, but I tell you. Uh, but these are actually on the side by the parking area. Sorry. You're such a nut. I hate to say this. This this was this stupid woman. I'm not being sexist. She was a woman, and she said, "Why can't we train them stupid deer to cross in the crosswalk where they're supposed to cross? The sign says deer crossing right there. Why can't?" Why do they have to cross somewhere else? Why can't they cross there? <laughs> and I was thinking, true story. true story. I'm thinking, yeah, here's your sign because you're stupid. Uh, so when I thought about, yeah, that's why I was <laughs> kind of what I was going by. I was thinking, boy, you are an idiot if you think that's really how those signs work. Yeah, I tell you, makes well, you wonder. And why can't we? I think she also said, why can't we uh, change? Where we have the crossing. Right. And put them somewhere. Uh, and put it where there's not a lot of traffic. <laughs> she was an idiot. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, not the, not the broadest, brightest bulb in the package there. Let's just face facts. Woohoo. Okay. So I got all those done. I do have my um, thing set at... <coughs> sorry, guys. Uh, a quarter of an inch. So, let me make sure I get this right. Okay. Chain piece in, guys. If you don't know what that is, it means just keep going and don't cut until you got all yours done. So you told them again what sewing machine you're using? Oh, well, yeah, well. I This is a Singer Model 66. Uh, it, it's 104 years old. It was born in... Uh, 1916. I couldn't remember what day. So we all should be 105 in December. So I didn't get to throw at the birthday party I wanted to. Um, you know, that's our time when things start getting slower and we didn't get to town in time to get its uh, present. <laughs> but, you know. Um, so I told it, it, you know, it's okay. Well, we haven't forgot about it yet. So we'll just do extra. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll do extra. Well, and it's more special. I mean, it's a hundred years old and half a decade at 105. So that's actually that's more special. That's a special birthday. So uh, there's somebody new watching this. They're gonna think you're so nuts. a nut. Yeah, we are nuts. Let's just face the facts. Everyone that's been with us for all these years kind of knows that already, don't you guys? That's all right. We claim it. We own it. 
Yeah, we are a little nuts. But so is everyone else. They just won't admit it. That's true. If you you're know, watching us, you got to be nuts. That's not true. <laughs> I was telling Shelly, I think I told you, I did get her sewing machine fixed. The pink and gray one. You've never seen it. It's a beautiful sewing machine. Uh, but it's in the Forerunner. I was telling her this morning if I would have thought about about doing this quilt, I would have grabbed it because it probably would have been a lot faster out of uh, with the electric sewing machine, but that's all right. I love my singer, and I love to use it. I tell everyone, all of my friends that I've known from working for years, you know, we talk about it. Tell them what we've been doing on our, our YouTube. I tell you, this chain piece is the way to go, though. Just always want to make sure you get your seam on the, where you got it glued or pinned. Uh, I don't use pins. I actually thought about it today. I thought, well, glue might take a little too long. But that's all right. Shell said, well, you guys enjoy. A lot of you guys enjoy just listening and watching me glue. and It's kind of uh, meditating almost. That's one thing I love about my sewing machine is it's noise. It doesn't, uh, I just love to hear it tick. I really do. So, yeah, I don't know what else we got. Probably this would be all I do today. Well, uh, I did have an order for 10 signs, guys. Um, they're oh, going to be Christmas be ornaments. Yeah, you might could do those on video. Yeah, I can always do that on. Level. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll see. I mean. I think we could even move everything over there. Yeah, we can. I, I've been doing it because I don't, you know, we I bought that vent thing. And it really sucks. Literally, it sucks. I mean, it sucks the air through the filter. But the. It's not a good. It's not a good, good thing. Uh, it doesn't really, like, filter it out. And I put cheesecloth in it. Uh, so what I'm using is I'm sitting over by my cabinet where my fabric and stuff is and I've been uh, I got a hose stuck through the window for my um, my uh, dust collector for the lathe so uh, it isn't too bad she said it might wait dang it I didn't do that one right well, wait, no, it will ma won't matter. I mean, it's four sided, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's not, it, it's, it's a little noisy, but it's not horrible. Not if I was doing it out there. It's not as comfortable to do it out in the, on the lathe. Because uh, that's where I had it setting. I have that one, I have those ten. And I also have I Don't Give a Rat's Took Us to Do. I sanded some of the wood for that. And you want to give Bite Me? And I'll probably do another Bite Me since that one sold so fast. And probably a few other things. But I have to go out and use the sander to take out the saw marks on my pieces of wood. So I do the, I'll do that outside. And then I'll sand it to a finer grit when I in the porch. So, but yeah, I will have to do that. So I do have stuff to do, but it doesn't all have to be today. I do have some ink blenders. There's ink blenders in the store, guys. There's a whole bunch of them, and I still got more to sand. I don't know how many. I think oh maybe 15. I don't know. I kind of forgot how many I counted. So I will have to do those, and I'll get those sanded. And once I get all that sanded, I'll move the lathe out and start making blanks again. So I can. Yeah, I think we need to. We're gonna move the boat forward. Yeah. We might need to reiterate that. Do what, honey? We might have to reiterate that. I don't know if that's what we What? That we're gonna move the goats. Oh yeah, we are gonna move the goats today. Um, once after I check the mail, so we'll close the gate that goes to the other road and let them go out and eat the grass in the front yard and stuff. 
Yeah, I say I know I've said it. We are in just an exceptional drought. That's the worst drought you can be in. Fashion calling it a mega drought. And apparently we ain't got no water, so uh sounds like all the farmers are only gonna get one cutting of hay. Yeah, somebody said they wish they could send us some um, water. <laughs> yeah, some of their rain. Yeah, I would wish we could have some of your guys' rain. It sure would need it here. It is just unbelievable here how bad it is. So it's going to be a long year. I got a feeling when it comes to not having any water. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the. Uh, um, usually, you know, you get two or three, or I'm at mean, three or four cuttings a uh, season of hay. Uh, they grow a lot of alfalfa here, plus alfalfa grass. And, yeah, so it's not going to be a good year when it comes to that or the prices. It's going to, hay's going to be very hard to find. I got a hay guy I've known for, I don't know, years, probably 26, 7 years, something like that. And he has a, a field right by us, so I'm going to talk to him and ask him tell them we really need it so if we can if we can get that that should uh, I'm gonna water the dog pen so they can uh, go in there let them eat you know get it grown again and let them eat the stuff in the dog pen we separated the fence so they could go in there have to do that. No, we don't have any dogs anymore. No, we haven't had dogs for years. Pen, yeah, we still have the pen. Wanted to put the chicken panties in there, but I never did do it. Because it's uh, three trees. It's in. It's all fenced in with chain link fence. So, but we were going to wanted to move the panties in there, but we won't be able to do that, I don't think. But you never know, I mean, we do have a lot of, just want to make sure they're safe is all. This guy goes pretty quick, doesn't it? Got about 10 more to go is all, and then I'll have to iron them. And go from there, figure out which, how, which ones are which. What I'm going to do for the, the, center section with the four it will be um there'll be two of the two of these uh in the center and then these will be capped on each side with those so that way i'm just hoping i've got enough blocks made if not i don't know i might go ahead and see what i got if i have enough to just finish it even if there are three alike, then I will. I'm not going to stress too much about it. I mean, it's going to get dirty. The cats lay on it all the time. And in fact, cards in my chair right now. You know, it's little buddy, Wilbur. He's been laying with me a lot. He's He hasn't been very happy with me when I leave. He's starting to get a little too attached to me hate that that he's that attached but it definitely has been you could tell it, it bothers him even if I just go outside he wants to be wants to know where I am and why am I leaving and so he's getting very attached he's so funny he purrs the second he sees me when I come in Shelby holding him or something he'll just all of a sudden start purring he's my buddy my three musketeers or three amigos is what I usually call. So it's Pard, Artie, and little Wilbur Dude. Wilbur Dude's a pain in the tuchus. He is such a little turd. Oh, I love that little brat, but he is a turd and a half. He's it's so funny how he attacks Shell. He'll look at her and get really intent, and then all of a sudden, pop! <laughs> it's so and it's mean. It's hilarious, and she loves it. I don't love it. It hurts. Oh, you do too. You just need to trim his claws. <laughs> she laughs and laughs when he does it, so don't let her fool you. I 
didn't have very many jobs. I was kind of surprised. I got home just afternoon. I think it was right before one, wasn't it, or something like that? Yeah. I was hauling butt. I was trying to hurry up, get down, and I went and got a few groceries and came home. Thing about the red cards a lot faster than the forerunner is, so I can get where I'm going a lot quicker. And it gets better gas mileage, but we have come to the conclusion that the pain we both suffer driving it, we would rather pay extra in gas and be comfortable, so. And it gets, I think, twice as much gas mileage as the forerunner does. The forerunner's absolutely horrible in, on gas. It's one of the worst cars I've ever had. Gas. I've actually owned one of those before. I just, back then it was, you know, so darn cheap. I never really paid that much attention to how much gas I got. See what I mean, guys? In this strip piece, or this uh, strip piece, and whatever they call it, boy, it is so much faster than doing it the chain. other way. Chain. Chain piecing. Sorry, yeah, that's it. Chain piecing. It's so much quicker than. You know, it's strange. I got a quilting magazine this week. And I haven't been subscribed to. It's that Love of Quilting by Fonz and Porter. It's a good magazine. But for some reason, I've been getting subscription to it. And I never did renew my subscription. subscription. So that's uh, kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, surely they wouldn't just send it to try to get me back. I mean, I'm not that I'm just one customer, so. So, I don't know, it's kind of strange. I guess time will tell. I guess so. Oh, there's a pen right there. So now is the time. Maybe. Pick it in, pick it in and just go. You know, it's tied somehow. Gotta get all this stuff. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. So I really have quite a few of those left of that one. That's too funny. I don't know how many squares I got made, but I got a bunch. So I will, was planning on what I'll do is once I get it. Uh, I'm actually going to do it inside out. I can show you that. You guys, I actually didn't even tell Shell that. That's what I did on the bowl, bowl, um, cozies. I made some bowl cozies. Bowl cozies for Shell, and, uh, you do it inside out, and then you fold it inside out, and, you know, turn it around. And if I do that, then I don't have to bind it. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to probably just uh, go every two inches or whatever and quilt it, you know. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. That's a great idea. Though. I think it, that would make it stronger since I don't backstitch. Um, I want to make sure that, it, you know, it lasts, I can wash it. And that was kind of the whole point of it, doing it this way. Okay, so, oh, I need a table. Oh, sorry, I kicked that dumb camera, didn't I? And I dropped that salt. And here. So, sorry guys, am I even gonna... Hmm. Hmm. I had to clean my iron from our last little fiasco. I told you guys about that. I unintentionally got sticky crap on my iron. So I did clean it. Come out good. 
think that's where it was. I don't know. Good enough. Um, so I cleaned up. I had plum forgot about it this morning. And so I got it all nice and clean. So I went. I uh, got me a spray bottle right there. These are meth, no, Myers Clean. This is Myers Clean Day. And this was an empty one. I needed a water uh, thing because mine's been messing up. And fortunately, they're not that good a sprayer. So that one was messing up too. So. It'll be able to work what we need it for. Shell did a whole bunch of glue pin thing, my bobbers. Five. D five dangly things. Um, that's what she did yesterday while I was gone. I told her I didn't want her really doing a lot. Um, so, she, uh, that's all she did. She cleaned my table off a little bit for me. So, uh, it would be this one, this one, and then I would do that. So the wool mat. This is a wool mat. It's probably at least a half inch thick. And okay, guys. You know my mind just doesn't work very good, does it, guys? No. I yeah. Huh, honey? I said no. No, it don't. I tell you, some days. Um. So. I just wasn't counting my rows correctly. Had to take two of them apart is all. Three. Three of them apart. So these will go together right here. I've been gluing some of them already. These are the two for the um, seat of it. The rest of it is all three. There's only three squares. I think is what we figured out. Something like that. So, these two go together. That's the way I had them figured. So, it won't take long to get this all sewn together, really. Just so you guys know, it probably be a two-parter. Uh, that way, you know, hopefully I can get it done this weekend. Well, I should be able to with doing it the way I want to do it. It really won't be difficult to get it all sewn. Because I have batting. I have everything else. Uh, I do need to find backing material. But I'll figure. I think you're fine. <laughs> I think that won't be a problem. I think what find, should find it pretty simple. Yeah, it won't be a big deal. But shells. My lovely wife is taking a couple of those apart for me so I can finish these. Oh, off that much? Wow. Boy. Huh. How is this off that much? Like I said, the seams aren't going to be perfect, but they won't be bad. So, did you get any of them apart? Um, oh, I'm just okay. Off the so, while she's doing that, I need, I have two more that I'm going to have to do. I think that's what I figured out. So, she's doing that. Let me, I have to glue these. One there. Is this one? Oh. I need one more of those. Oh wait, I already did one, didn't I? That's right. Okay. Up to two. Okay. Yeah, I'm right now. Okay. So the way I got these out was went ahead and put one square on them. Take my gear. Uh, one square on them, and it goes like this. So they will be like this. Um, and I'm using basting glue. Those of you who've been with us for a long time, 
No, I do not pin whenever I sew. I always use basting glue, uh, especially, uh, I think paint pins a pan that took us, but uh, with using my seam guide, it just it's easier to glue it, really, I think. At least it is for me. They're uh, Monet. I just what heard, huh? What is? I said they are mowing hay. Oh, I thought you said Monet. No. <laughs> my wife, guys. They are. They are. It smells so good. Oh it's my God! House. I just smelled it. Yeah, it's, I love the smell of so freshly mown hay or grass. Yeah. Why are you talking about Monet? Yeah, she's such a good one. Yeah. So they usually they mow at well they bail at night usually, but a lot of times they actually mow in the early like early like mornings or the morning. yeah, they they yeah. Um, yeah, they are scare the living bejeebas out of you when you hear that mowing at two o'clock in the morning or one we had an alarm clock mom bought it for me it was a tractor and i mean my god that thing scared us half to death it was it sounded like a semi truck not no tractor like and it coming yelled, through the wall coming through the wall <laughs> had lights flashing oh my god and then you know one day one morning they actually were mowing the grass and they they the headlights of the tractor was coming through the window. Oh my lord. Yeah, it was quite humorous. But, oh that, God, that thing is scary after death. Man, that thing. Especially when you're not used to alarms. Because we don't use alarms because I wake up early. And we, and were, we were going on vacation. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was lots of fun, Mom. Yeah, I don't. We, both of us, we don't even set alarms really because I wake up early. I mean, I, I woke up yesterday at 2.30, I think, something like that. Little guy woke you up this morning. Yeah, a little partner came in. The Mom let partner in to wake me up this morning, so that was nice. He, would, You guys would love it. It's so funny. He headbutts me, and it's very, it's funny. And But he, yeah, he gets out there and he headbutts me. And he pulls, he claws the covers to uncover me. My, uh, it's so funny how he does it. It really okay, is hilarious. Time to wake up. Yeah, time for me to wake up. So it's so sweet. I don't get irritated at him. He just loves me so much, you know. I'm his world. He's my baby. Part is my soul cat. He's the black cat. One of the black cats. So he is my soul cat for sure me and him he even knows like I'll tell Shell oh did I not you dummy did I really do that I didn't trim that one somehow I didn't trim that one why didn't I trim that one well that's fine I'll just steal one of these then huh somehow I missed that one so now I'm gonna have to well I may not need it we'll see how much Yeah, I'll tell Shelly, just text her, say, hon, you know, I'm coming home, you know, and part is right there, he There's will, another. he'll start acting, I go have ahead, two and, more. huh, I have two more, I thought I only needed three, go ahead and do that one for you, just to be one. safe, well, watch your way on those, and then I'll figure this out, well, I can do this one, but, she, she won't tell him, you know, Dad's, Daddy's heading home, but he knows it. When I text, she, all of a sudden he'll start, she said he starts acting different. And Comes up and starts meowing. Meowing and yeah. talking, and and a lot of times I'll tell Part, hey Part, I'm coming home, I'm almost home, or something like that, just so he knows. He's a very, very extremely sensitive little guy, but he just gets his feelings hurt because he just loves me so much. and. It just breaks that little heart of his when I have to leave. So, 
He won't talk to me. He'll, he'll actually turn his back to me, the little stinker. Yeah, yeah, he does that too. Oh, wait, honey. Let me see here. What, what, what? Well, I just got to see what I'm doing here. So, okay, these two are... Wait, okay, I do need... What's this one? Yeah, I do need... No, I know I already did those. Why would I do that? I know I did two of those already. Yeah, I did the two on the base, so all these. Okay. So, let me... I don't know how many I've got. I'm just going. At least everything's together. I know I'm right as far as... Um, I may have enough already sewn or with these. I don't know. We'll have to see. Just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and start sewing. No, and that won't take me very, very long. Because I've already done the bottom, and so I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, you may not have done, had to do them, honey, but I just don't know. And I figured, well, it won't hurt because I can use those for a cover. Yeah. You know, if I don't need them. Any ones I don't need, I'll just use that as a cover. And that's, I've already made a cover out of those the quilt blocks. So I know I'm. Have you? Yeah, one, I think. Ow! I know I cut one up. For yeah. Parts and stuff. Yeah. Maybe that was it. Oh, there's some on the floor. Well, this other one I'm not going to do this one. I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, leave it, and we'll just go from there, I think. Here you go. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. You want this other one? Oh, I got to sit up. I'm not. There we go. So I may not need that one that was cut. We'll see that I didn't trim. Yeah, I love the smell of, I think that's one thing, when I first, when I was living with Dad, we, uh, U.S. West bought PTI, which was a really small phone company, and when we got that, we got uh, Dove Creek, which is north of us, that was PTI, so we started uh, having to locate that, and that's when I was living with dad and I'd have to drive back and forth from Norwood, Telluride and Norwood, and I'd end up doing Dove Creek. And I fell in love with this area. I, I remember, you know, I was working 16 hour days or longer, and then I would, you know, have to drive home hundreds of miles. But I remember coming through this area and just the smell of hay. I just still to this day I can remember can remember driving home smelling that when they were the fields had just been mowed. It was so wonderful. That's still my my absolute favorite smells is cut hay. And even if they let the alfalfa go to seed even that, the, the, it's such a beautiful, it's, I love the smell of just alfalfa flowers too, but yeah, I just fell in love with that, this area, because before we never really had any reason to come up here, because where we live is a different phone company, and then Dove Creek was a different, so we actually never came this way until we took all that area over. So I did, I just absolutely fell in love with this country. So now after we got married, you know, I was driving home one day. We were looking for a house in Cortez to move by. And I come home and I said, "Hun, I found our house we're gonna buy. And we drove up that day, didn't we? I don't remember. I think we did. And it's the house we're living in. We got married and started a new job and bought a house the <laughs> very first year. 
Gallic and Munch, yeah. So, it was a... They didn't live in this house. They haven't lived in the house for quite a while, but they did farm them. So we have just under three acres, so they would grow beans on our on the land. So we don't have irrigation. I wish we did. We have to go, I think it's a half a mile up to get irrigation. That is extremely expensive. So we'll see. We used to walk all the time on our county road. Even after I got sick, we still walked. But when they started doing CO2 wells and gas wells here, it got very, very dangerous. And it was, it was so bad you couldn't even, I mean, it was scary to walk. And they really haven't been doing anything to that for several years and the traffic I've noticed has slowed down a lot. We would like to start walking again. It's so peaceful, especially, you know, in the morning. It just is a peaceful place. Even though we live next to the high highway, it's still a very peaceful place. walk on the highway. We never did walk on the highway, I mean, except for checking mail. We, we'd always walk on our county road just because it is less traffic. It's nerve-wracking on the highway. I don't mind walking up because uh, I'm walking against the traffic, but I do kind of think about, you know, get behind us, so I do have a tendency to walk more in the dirt coming back home. When the goats are out, we have to walk a long way around, so it does... If we goats aren't out, it's only like 200 foot on the road, highway, to our one driveway. I love our area that we live in. It's a very, very pretty area. We laughing about, babe. This lesson. Oh, she watches those lessons. What's the name of him? Oh, okay. I thought it was the human lessons thing. Okay. Was what? That human lessons where people are... Oh, I haven't done I that toast. one yet, no. I hate those. Uh, she's watching oh, no. Skillshare. And it's pretty neat. I mean, they do have a lot of stuff on it, so... This and guy said he had like a... 10 set of VHS series. <laughs> oh Lord, imagine how old those are. I know, it was funny. See how many I have real quick. Uh, I don't know what I need to do. Probably getting low on time. We're actually probably over time now. You know what? So we're probably over time now. Yeah, probably out of so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and keep going. I'll start the new video because I Shell's not going to feel up to making a video. So I might as well just keep going on this one. So uh, please give the video a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. Sorry, she just, little girl knocked over our computer mouse all the time. Uh, 
please subscribe and uh, we just want to thank you uh, for being part of our YouTube family and we're going to let you go. Thank you guys for visiting Tutzines. Tutzines.